Hey guys, Sean here with SE Shirts and Hoodies, and today we'll be flying to Dallas to the Printing United show. We're gonna go check out new equipment, new apparel. Hopefully, they got some new vendors there, and we're gonna record the whole process. So, hopefully, we can find an embroidery machine to grow this business. So, let's go. All right, guys, so we just got back from Dallas. Uh, the truck is pulling up with the brand new embroidery machine that I just ordered. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs, figure out how I'm gonna get it up here. You guys already know if you guys have been following me um, that I don't like the whole cardboard flying. I'm gonna get it unpacked. I'm gonna go over everything that comes with it, the price, the warranty, and the reason why I chose it. So let me go downstairs, meet the truck driver, uh, try to get it up here, see if I can fit it in the door because he's unloading it right now and it doesn't seem like it's even gonna fit in the door. So let me try to figure this out, try to get it up here, unpack it, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I went downstairs. I got it unpacked, I got it set up. Um, the box, the packing, I gotta say that Recoma packs their products right. It literally took me like an hour to unbox it, to set it up. Um, I got the training last night. I'm already embroidering uh, some hats. I already got an order for some hats, 150 hats. Um, but the unpacking, the unboxing, I hate to cuss, but it's a, you know what I wanna say. Um, it literally took me two hours just to unpack it, to set it up, but here it is. Uh, I'm gonna go over exactly how much it cost me, the warranty. I'm gonna go over uh, why I felt like it was the best option for me and everything that comes with it. So let's get into it. All right, so when you get your Rakoma, I got a 1501 single head. When you get it, let me tell you, they send you everything and anything that you're gonna need. Uh, they send you 20 spools of string. You can see them all up there. I already ran out of that gray one. So uh, 20 spools of string. They send you two uh, hoop rings, I guess they're called, for 
for each size, ranging from three and a half, that's the small one, 4.72, 5.9, 7.87, the square one's 11.41, and I don't, that don't even have a size on it. They send you, uh, these brackets are for when you're embroidering flats, send you bobbins, oil, different types of backing so you could get started. This one's a cutaway, seven by seven, tear away, uh, some more tear away. Uh, this is for like moisture wicking garments, mesh no show. They send you a bunch of uh, hat that I pretty much already use and they're around here somewhere. My house is a mess so forgive me for that. Um, they send you the cap driver two uh, cap hoop rings. Let me see if I can get it off so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the cap driver. They send you the bobbin case that's in there. All the needles already come in it. It's pretty much tested. This is your cap ring that you're gonna need to embroider hats. Um, I actually ordered the eight in one, which is for sleeves. I don't even know everything it can work for, so sorry about that. I'm still learning. Uh, sash hoop frame for I guess curtains a uh, table they send you a toolbox with all kinds of needles I mean you'll I was thinking about going to buy packs and packs of needles but I mean they send you probably a hundred needles um, scissors different types of scissors different tools to switch out the flats to the the flat brackets to the cap driver this is your uh Hooping station basically for your hats. Um, all kinds of extra parts, which is a good thing, but it kind of worries me like they expect it to break or something. But I mean, I haven't had any problems. Uh, some a cable to hook up to your computer, Ethernet, all these tools. I mean, they they go, they send you a lot of stuff that I didn't even expect to get. Um, the reason why I went with Rakoma is because obviously the price was good. Um, the price was great, actually. Um, another reason is they sell a bunch of Omni products. They sell Omni printers, and I felt like, you know, I got the Omni DTG. So if they believe in them, I kind of felt like I should believe in them, too, because I trust what they do. I trust the quality of the machine that they have. Um, so that's why I went with them. The warranty, um, here's, here's the pricing and all that, so you guys can see what I paid. Almost... 15 grand the warranties it's a five-year warranty on drivetrain so all the mechanics i'll zoom in so you kind of see that three-year motor uh three-year warranty on the motor so if anything goes out they replace it one year on um, parts and labor and lifetime support now a lot of a lot of the stuff that i've had with this a lot of like consumer error questions that i've had on my end they've pretty much answered the phone every time you ain't got to wait on hold you ain't got to wait for anything um but yeah here it is one thing that i forgot to mention is i got some mighty hoops um i've seen them at the shows they're just magnetic hoops that they're kind of hard to pull out with one hand but instead of trying to get the hoop burn is what they call it on garments you use those um i got like four of them they're still in the box i haven't even screwed the brackets on or anything so i know other embroiderers out there are going to say why didn't you go with the swf why didn't you go with tajima why didn't you go with these other companies? Well, to be honest, um, my phone wasn't working when I went to Dallas and I was trying to record all the interactions that I had with them. But when I interacted with Rakoma, I just had a good feeling. Not only that, but Omni trust in them. And I've already stated that before, but the price was good. The financing, I didn't put no money down. I'm I, The orders I'm already getting are pretty much already paying for it. Um, I'm trying to invest as little as money as possible into this business and make it grow so other people could see that you don't need money i guess you need credit but you don't need money to start a business as you can see i mean my business is growing it's thriving um but back to the reason why i chose them i just f had a good feeling about them um tajima it's a good machine i mean this is basically a tajima everything that all the parts when you look at the parts when you look at the setup of it, it's basically a Tajima SWF. Honestly, I kind of feel like they all go through the same person and just put a different name on it. Like 
there's so many companies, so many machines, and this is just what I felt comfortable with. Um, for the people that do follow me or you, you're just new to this channel, I mean, you know, I'm going to try to be honest about every single thing that comes about the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I'll be having some reviews coming out about that beast over there that, you know, had a, had a couple problems, but nothing major. I mean, maybe it's just my luck. I always have problems with everything I buy from the first vinyl cutter to heat press to, you know, that's just my luck. Um, but yeah, that's why I went with it. One thing I do got to mention though, is one thing that, you know, kind of, it didn't upset me, but it made me concerned is on this, this is brand new. You can see the paint peeling off. And to me, if it's brand new, no paint should be peeling off. I'm sorry, Rukoma. They know I'm putting out a video. They ain't sponsoring me. They ain't paying me. So, I mean, for it being brand new and the paint chipping off, uh, oh, well, it, it's a small thing, but I look at a lot of little details. So, man, if you guys like this video, subscribe. I'm sorry it isn't a longer video. I just don't have too much experience with this. But the learning curve, let me tell you, if you guys are getting into embroidery and you guys have never done embroidery before, I thought the learning curve on the DTG was a big learning curve. But the learning curve on embroidery is a huge learning curve. And I don't pay anybody to digitize. Oh, that's another thing. They also give you a software for digitizing, but it's not, how do I put it? It's not the best software. It's basically so you can outsource all your digitizing to a company and you could import it into there and then export it as a DST file, which... Yeah, I'm going to leave that. It, it's just horrible. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. So I the reason why I don't outsource all my digitizing is because if somebody calls me and says, I need 100 hats tomorrow, digitizing services sometimes take 24 hours. So I can't afford to wait 24 hours. So I'd rather hit my head against the wall, throw things across the room when I'm frustrated and end up learning it myself than to depend on another company to take care of the hard work for me. So I think that's the biggest learning curve is the digitizing. But as you can see, I'm about to show you all these hats that I've already done. Um, I'm already getting orders. So, you know, I kind of jumped around in this video a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to just get it out. Um, I've been trying to get this video done for like two weeks. So uh, yeah, here it is. Um, if you guys like, subscribe, comment. If you guys already know, if you guys need anything, just reach out. I'll get back to you if it takes a couple days which I usually don't ever because I always got my phone in my hand. So if you guys ever need anything, any help, any advice, reach out to me. I got you. Um, one thing that I do got to mention is people keep asking me if Omniprint pays me. They don't pay me. Recoma don't pay me. My channel isn't monetized. I ain't making any money off this. Um, I'm just doing this right now to help people out, to hopefully motivate somebody and just to put it out there that you guys can do this. So um, we're going to take a look at all the hats that I pretty much already got done. And we're going to go from there. So before we go, here's all the hats that I pretty much already done. Um, I usually get about 10 done in an hour, give or take. Uh, I'm kind of running it slow right now because I'm not trying to push it. I'm not trying to mess up hats. Here's the tearaway that they send you. This is a pack that I bought because I already ran out of the other tearaway. But here's all the other hats that I got to get done. Um, you can see it's a shit ton of hats. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys like, subscribe, uh, comment. If you guys already know what it is. Uh, until the next video, I'm gone.